this name Black Duran for him because it really don't when you're dealing with this disease. You know, it's not a death sentence. Quote, I don't look at HIV as a sickness. I look at it as a vile opportunity. If I had never gotten it, I would never have stepped back, looked inside myself, and found out all my gifts. The gift was helping other people. This was something that I guess it was itching in my head, and then finally, Miss Cricket brought it out of us. She sat in group with us a couple times, and she said, I got an idea, I'm gonna write a book. And, and all of us just jumped on doing it with her. <laughs> it wasn't no, we, I guess that was something all of us wanted to do, because all of us were good at sharing our stories. It means a lot, most, most of all. People get to hear our story or read our story and not judge us and see the life we live and what we've been through. From where we was to where we are now, a lot of us achieved a lot. This book freed me because I was still stuck. I still didn't, you know how some people say they offered drugs but they relapsed and did all of that? Well, when I told this story, it got to the root of the problem that I had thought I was finished with, but it still had to become, it still had to come to front because you can't get healed until you hear yourself say your problem. 2009, I had just finished a 30 year bout with drugs. This book also brought on my deliverance. Also, this picture means that all of the things that society put on you and even though you were falling down and they put something up to hold you up, I'm still standing. A voice of victory and hope often rises to the top. There is a paradox herein. The curse becomes the blessing. HIV, a potential death sentence, serves to bring reason to life. HIV, the potential joy thief, becomes the mechanism for exaltation and profound faith to God. There is inspiration to be found from our brokenness. They help us to see that we are somebody and we can achieve our goals if we want to be photo artists, writers, whatever. And then it show our kids that your parents ain't only get out, they can accomplish other things. With my six kids, I want them to see that their mother is somebody. I felt real, I was happy that I, when I opened the book and seen my name in it. <laughs> my name ain't never been printed in, in no book. It's, it, 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 it's a big compliment to me, it, 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 you know, it's a, it, you know, to be able to name something and have it in here that, you know, this is what I've done, you know, so. And Miss Trigger was like, what made you snap that bitch? I said, the colors, it's beautiful. I said yellow, sunshine, and the pink, and just special. This is my exact word. It's like the center of us as people. Because people look on the outside of us, but don't know the special part in the inside of us. Or they look on the outside of us and try to judge us but never look on the inside and see what's special. We didn't really think the pictures would make it bigger than the stories that's in the book, really. But we just used the pictures, but they turned out better than the book sometimes with the story that went with them. The way she sets them up in the gallery and the way that we go to the galleries and set them up, I mean, I, I don't know what, what's so touching about these pictures, really. But they, they all have a meaning all to themselves. But this book ain't finished. This book is just a start. I'm alive and life don't have.